हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दी चैनल माई नेम इज महेश कारिया यू आर वॉचिंग मी ऑन यूट्यूब नाउ एंड इन दिस सेशन आई एम गॉन टेक यू थ्रू हाउ टू डिप्लॉय योर डॉकर कंपोज स्टैंड अलोन डॉकर कंपोज टू ए डब्ल्यू एस विथ सी एल आई डॉकर कैंटेक्सट सो दैट्स वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर इन दिस टूडे सेशन सो दिस इज काइंड ऑफ रियली वेरी हेल्पफुल ट्यूटोरियल होपफुली बिकॉज देर आर एन नंबर ऑफ ऑप्लीकेशन दैट वी कंपोज on local machine using docker compose and by creating building images containers and we used to deploy with docker all the time and for that uh, it's really very really big question how we can deploy complete docker compose file if we have with multiple containers ready mysql everything and with just one click how we can deploy to aws that's really very really amazing if we can somehow do this thing and it's possible uh, using just three or four commands that's it finish okay so i'm going to uh, like take you through guys how is that possible and how we can achieve this using uh forget okay so it's a aws forget but we are not going to deep dive into it so what we are going to do is we are going to use docker so if you don't have a docker you can simply grab your docker from here docker.com and install for your system it's available for all the systems like linux windows mac okay and after that you just need to have a docker uh, running so you can see this little icon over here just uh, install this start this and create new folder and i'm going to create a normal docker compose file so i'm going to name it docker for now and drag your folder here just let me resize and create docker compose.yaml where we are going to define a version which will be 3.9 is latest but i'm going to use 3.8 services uh, would be my uh, app and app would be my nginx so i'm going to use container name which is nginx so for that we are going to deploy to port 8080 or 80 okay here we go this is this is looks okay to be and images the image that we are going to get is not from docker hub instead of we have aws registry okay we are going to search for aws registry and where you can find the public images like all the docker hub images the path will be different that's the thing okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to directly search for aws nginx nginx registry okay so like the way to so make sure to use aws registries public registries and you can simply uh click here and check the version or uh, same that we used to do on docker compose sometimes uh it takes time so from here you can choose your image like the version like uh, there are multiple versions for perl and other things that you can choose here from so simply grab this or you can select this and instead of this image nginx i'm going to use this path so it will grab that image and it will uh, instead of docker hub we are doing this okay so that's the only thing that we need to take care about another thing you have to have aws account and aws cli so install aws cli to your system once you have aws cli inside your system you can open your terminal and you can simply search for aws aws half and half and version maybe and through which you will get your aws version it means aws is running in my system aws cli is installed and after that you can configure like this okay now we need one iam user through which we will get access id and secret key so if i go here if i click on sign in to my console i already have a console so i'm going to click here and search for iam user and once i have this user or you can create your own user through which you will get your 
uh, or you can generate your secret IDs from here. So it's, it's super easy. Just you have to uh, click here, okay. And once you have it, you can generate. Oh, uh, let me go. Few security credentials, of course. And here I'm gonna. You can use two-factor authentication as well. I already have two IDs upload get credential generate credentials you can uh, use these things but uh, where is that yeah this create i am not getting this I create option because i already have uh, two ids if i i can remove this lemu okay this lemu instead of that i'm gonna delete this first one okay so i can use i can create another one maybe okay so this is done and if i refresh the page then i can see the access key option over there so we can generate a new one okay let me show you i'm still not getting it so let me delete this maybe okay i need to write id over here so let me grab this paste this delete to just confirm that yeah now we can create a new access key for CLI, maybe. Uh, yeah, for CLI. And next, if we do this, we just need to generate. And you just need to grab this value, copy this, paste this over here, hit enter, then grab this and paste, hit enter. Okay. Uh, but don't show your secret key to others. Okay. I'm going to delete this after this video. So, AP South one is my default location. Uh, this AP South one comes from here. Uh, according to your region you can choose like us east one and don't choose us east one uh, if possible uh, it's a monster because most of the servers we deploy on uh, here only is us east one okay because it's the first option and it's not good okay so now uh, the second step is we are gonna go to here let's open the terminal from here and now we are going to use docker context make sure you have a docker version already running after that you just have to use docker context okay uh create we need to create some and i'm gonna name it docker test sounds good to me and ecs actually we are gonna create ecs docker test okay so now it's gonna ask for that uh profile that we just set which was a default profile and for that i'm gonna choose the existing profile which was default once you configure it's gonna set your default id and secret key so yeah it's done now we can use docker context use docker test so yeah we are done now if i do docker compose up now so what's gonna it's gonna do is it's gonna deploy cloud formation so it's gonna deploy cloud formation and if you guys are not familiar about cloud formation this is something a kind of template okay and that template will create everything for you like you don't need to worry about anything so like cluster log group and executable task blah 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 load balancer and if i go here if i search for cloud formation okay so here the it's it's the good thing about a context it will convert your compose.yaml file to your cloud formation template and if you click here you can see all the events that are running and that's getting created so you don't have to worry about anything whenever you will deploy this every like your complete compose file will be available and you can actually uh, check that it is actually running on port 80 now this is done okay now everything is created if i go here if i refresh this uh, or 
let me go here again can i remove this and in resources here you will see or docker these are all the load balancer and everything okay i am looking for a cluster this one this cluster i want in order to check for dns okay so now i'm gonna click here i'm gonna go to here service and after that inside service i inside networking i'm gonna click here to open this address and this is running on port 80 so this nginx imagine if you have a complete docker file with n number of things like mysql redis node python and lots of things your complete project build images and everything with just one click you can deploy to aws this is the beauty of forget and docker context now the question is if that many of services is running are running on your aws how you will delete this okay there are two options one is you can directly go here you can click on stacks you can click here or click on delete or update okay or you can directly compose up again and again it will build again and again so you don't need to update otherwise you can simply hit the another command docker compose down that's it everything will get deleted the each and every service that created so this is the beauty actually so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm not gonna deep dive into it like uh, but in future we will create video how to deploy mon stack mean stack your fast api fastify whatever it may be with just your docker compose file so please use this guys this is super easy super cool and uh that kind of awareness i'm trying to spread in order to make things easy if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed and you can contribute by the way by using this thanks button in even one dollar is enough to grow our channel so thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here Please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side. Definitely I'll make it for you. Thanks. See you soon in the next video. Ta-da. Bye-bye.